Well, still trudging along. That's where I just was. It's Agador. Whew. Now I'm by the knobcone pines. This is the Pinus attenuata. And they grow here in the Santa Ana Mountains naturally, where serpentine soil crops out. A little bit of it right there underneath this buckwheat. Yeah, you can see the small knobcone pines here. This is one of only two places that they are native to here in Southern California. I know I pointed them out many times in the San Gabriels, but I don't think they're truly native to the San Gabriels. They were planted and naturalized. But here, these knobcone pines are truly native. And here, they're pretty small. The trees are pretty small here because it's probably a lot closer to their dryness tolerance. There might have been a larger population of them here back during wetter climate regimes. I mean, they are pretty drought tolerant, but I guess being here, they probably get close to the limit of what they will tolerate. This is probably a relic stand of them. Well, this population goes on for, you know, scattered parts all the way to probably about a mile or so past Pleasant's Peak. There are some larger knobcone pines, one of them that unfortunately passed away. In the wild, well, well, this is the wild, what am I saying? I mean, in favorable habitats, I've been known to get up to about 80 or so feet. But here, they're pro most of them are closer to 15 feet. I tell you, it's a beautiful sight to behold. And there are quite a few big cone Douglas firs down there in that canyon. I'm not sure what canyon this is. But at least it's Silverado Canyon. Silverado Canyon is the ridge over. I'm not sure what this one is. Again, I'm not 100% fluent on my Santa Ana Mountain Canyons like I want to be. But yeah, down here, it's a nice population of Big Cone Douglas for Pseudosuga macrocarpa and a bunch more knobcone pines above them. So the Big Cone Douglas firs like it a little bit moister than the knobcone pines need it to be. But yeah, there's some nice big cones down there. My specimens. I wonder if there are a lot of saplings. Wherever, wherever I go hiking in Big Cone Douglas fir territory, there seems to be a lot of saplings everywhere. There seem to be very prolific trees. But yeah, this is another area that I really treasure here in the Santa Ana's. The Pleasance and Agador Peak, Peaks area. Because of the knobcone pines. I'll tell you one thing though, my body's getting tired. I'm still planning on making it to Pleasance. After that, short break and it's time to head back. I'll tell you one thing, this has been a this has been a tiring but exhilarating hike so far. It's beautiful here. It really is. This part of the Santa Ana's has got a lot going for it. And there's Agador right there again. I'm going to keep on going. This is Poison Oak right here, so just beware. I'm just going to keep going. See what I see next.